What up, peeps? I'm gonna be changing the oil on this 2011 Mini Cooper Clubman today. Now the first thing I like to do when I'm changing the oil <clears throat> is I check it first to see what level it's at. Now the reason I do this is to know whether or not it's burning oil so that I can prevent further issues. See that little hole in the dipstick? It's showing oil in it and just above it, so it's still at a safe level. But uh, she was a little low. Now for me, when I do my oil change, I like to take off my cap and set it where the hood latch is, which on this car is right here. That way you can't close your hood and leave your cap off and have uh, things go wrong. Now it's time to jack up the car. Always use proper safety and put jack stands under your car. You're going to need a number 8 uh, Allen key, 8mm, to remove the drain plug on the oil pan. Either a ratchet or an Allen key will work. Make sure you have something under the car to catch the oil with and make sure to open up the breather val valve so that it all goes in the container fine. One time I forgot this breather valve and the diesel truck I was working on had so much oil that it overflowed. Not a good time. Now for the oil filter, you're going to need an inch and sixteenth socket. Fits on there nice and snug. Now this tends to get pretty messy, or at least it certainly can, so I'm going to shovel a couple of blue shop towels underneath it so that as I twist it off, hopefully they'll catch the bulk of anything that comes out. Just like so. sure to check your filter make sure you don't see any metal particles or anything too serious your new oil filter should come with a new gasket for your cover and a washer for your drain plug so that's why I wait until after I pull this drain everything to uh, put this back starting with the filter and then I put the drain plug back with the new washer you want to get your old gasket off without Damaging your cover, put the new gasket on. Make sure it's even all the way around. And I like to use these blue towels that I sit under here to uh, just kind of quickly wipe up any mess that I might have created right here. 
and then I use the damp part of the rag and go around the seal itself because you want to seal wet seals wet and dry seals dry. Your new filter can go in there either way but it has to sit down on that inner retention pin type deal. Like said, ratchets are really pretty, pretty neat. Make sure to put on the new washer. Reinsert the plug with the new washer. Tighten her back up with the uh, eight millimeter Allen key. Those has got to be super tight. You don't want to strip these threads, but uh, just tight enough. Now we can remove the jack stands and uh, lower the vehicle. Now my car calls for 4.2 liters of oil and as you can see this comes with 4.73 liters of oil so I need to leave half a liter of oil in the container and it has liter and quart marks to conveniently uh, add the correct amount of oil to your engine. See, I left just half a liter in there. Alright guys, before you start your car on a fresh oil change, personally, I like to uh, turn the accessory on so it just goes, not full power on, but turns on and then uh, go ahead and start it. I like to do my oil changes and tire rotations every 5,000 miles. I run full synthetic and that e makes it easy to keep track of. and. This is one of the few times I was actually pretty close to the mark, so go me. This car, as you can see, is filthy. It's time for a little spring cleaning, I would say. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. There's a learning curve.